Hello everybody, this is Michelle Fox and welcome back to The Simple Quilter. Today I'm talking about my favorite specialty rulers. Now before we get very far into this, I want you to tell me if you have a favorite specialty ruler. So tell me in the comments below which is your favorite and why it's your favorite. Okay, now I have three rulers I want to talk about this morning. Now the quilt behind me was made with one of the rulers. That's the one I want to show you first. This may be my, oh, I don't know. It's one of my favorite. I, I really like this. Uh, this is called the Log Cabin Trim Tool 2 um, ruler. It's put out by Creative Grids. And I have made two big quilts with this. And the results are just remarkable. The quilt goes together so nicely. Um, the piecing looks perfect. The nice thing about specialty rulers are they help you make blocks faster. And they turn out, in my opinion, more precise. So in my opinion, the Log Cabin Trim Tool 2 is definitely worth the um, money I spent on it because uh, you can make several different blocks and in two different sizes. So let me show you this tool a little bit closer. Okay, so here's the tool. It's a little hard to see. I'm going to see if this will help. There we go. This makes you, this makes it a little bit easier to see. But this is the Log Cabin Trim Tool 2 ruler. Very easy to use. I have a video that shows you how to use this, so you can um, check the link out above there for the video for this. But you can make three different size three different blocks. You can make the log cabin, the courthouse house step, and the half log cabin block in two different sizes. In a 12 inch finished and a 6 inch finished. So here are here are two of the blocks. Here's the courthouse step and the half log cabin square. You can see these in the 12 inch finished and then the one on the the quilt on the wall behind me shows just the log cabin square block but these turned out great and I'll put up some pictures I made this quilt I made these into a quilt and I um, laid them out in three different layouts and I'll put pictures up of those but you can also make these super cute little six inch blocks in the three different styles of blocks and like I said these just turn out just wonderful and like I said your blocks go together with very little effort so this is probably perhaps what my th this is probably my most favorite specialty ruler and again, that's the Log Cabin Trim Tool 2. I'll put a link in the description below for this ruler if you're interested. My other favorite set of rulers, this is a set of rulers. This is the Flying Geese Block Lock Ruler. And in this... With this, you can make all kinds of sizes of uh, flying geese. You can make the parallelogram. Let me sh let me show you here first. You can make the flying geese in several sizes. Now these are just three of the sizes that I've made. You can make them in even more sizes than this, but they're those flying geese. And these turn out great too. That's the nice thing about specialty rulers is you're, you just end up with this perfect piece and they're all the same size and you don't have to worry about your seams being off. Okay, you can also make a parallelogram. Here's um, a sample of a parallelogram that I did. Um, you can do, I, I don't have a sample of this, but you can do the um, rectangle with one corner 
snowballed there. And then you can do a square and a square block. So this is a great ruler to have. And the nice thing about this is that I like is this just snaps, just really snaps right into place. And then you just trim right around there. Great, great set of rulers. Now, I also have a video out on how to use this specialty ruler, and I'll put a link for that, and then I'll put a link in the description. Here's a little, somebody asked me what a drainer strainer, a strainer drainer was. Wes has really used this. I got this out of his uh, hobby room. He's been using it a lot. You can tell it's really soiled, but um, that's okay. He wanted to use that, but these were just some of the flying geese that I made with these block lock rulers, but these are really fantastic rulers also. Now the next block I wanted to show you, the next ruler is, I don't know if it's a specialty ruler, but I use it a lot. And this is just a little Creative Grids rulers. Creative Grids rulers are my most favorite. They're non-slip and I can just see them really well. Now this I use frequently. When I make a half square triangle, I always use this. And this is used to create those little lines. So what you do is you just put that little line down and you match up the line from corner to corner. Then you just, whoops, that's the, oh, shoot, I've already drawn those on there. You just line it up, and you just draw your lines, just right down like that on the wrong side of the fabric. Ends up like that, and then you just sew on the line, and then cut down the middle. You can put a line down the middle, too, and you can cut on that line if you prefer. I usually don't draw the line down the middle. I'm not sure why that did, but these are all great rulers. Um, again, I'll put links in the description below for you if you're interested in any of these. And here are the three blocks. And here are the three layouts that I wanted to show you using the courthouse step block. So I'll put pictures up of those. And this quilt turned out great, but I gave it away as a gift to one of my sisters. So I don't have it here to show you. Now, in the comments below, don't forget to tell me which specialty ruler that you like best and why you like it. I may want to invest in another specialty ruler. I do have to say, I think I'm going to purchase the uh, Bowl Cozy ruler because I or template because I've really been wanting to make some Bowl Cozies. I know they've been out for a long time, but I've never made one, and I want to see what that's all about. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Please share with a friend. And as always, leave a comment. I love to get the comments and try to reply to each and every one. So until next time, have fun quilting.
everybody, this is Michelle Fox and welcome back to The Simple Quilter. Now today I'm going to be talking about using what you have. Um, I had a kind of planned for this to be an orphan block a video about you. I had originally planned um, <clears throat> I had originally planned for this to be about using orphan blocks and some of these are kind of orphan blocks, but um, I have to tell you a little story first. Okay, so, well, first, 